Okay, we're filming now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, James Sweetapple, Cargo Road Wines. Um, here we continue to look through our reserve range of reds, and we're going to look at the Nebbiolo. Now, I've, I've spoken before to people that have been on the veranda and met me and come here. I've always used uh, backpackers in the vineyard, and I've had some fantastic people from all over the world. And just for fun, I've said to them, you come here to learn from me, uh, and you experience life in Australia, and I get their name and address and say, one day I'm coming to see you. And I've got a fantastic visitor's book with beautiful comments uh, that I can sit back and read and they make me smile. And in 2015, uh, I mentioned when we did the Lagrine tasting, uh, my friend Simon from Bolzano said, right, time for a trip, James, you need to get out of here. So I planned the trip and uh, went to many places and caught up with many backpackers. And in particular, uh, Mattia, uh, from uh, Lamora in um, the Piemonte region. His father runs a biological wine shop. If ever you're going to uh, Piemonte, uh, do send me an email or call me and I'll put you guys in touch. Uh, fantastic spot, most beautiful um, tumbled ham uh, with salt and flavours and things and fantastic organic wines over there. Nebbiolo is how the Italians say it. N-E-B-B-I-O-L-O, -O, Nebbiolo, uh, rolls off the tongue, think, put your Italian accent on, Nebbiolo, it's not Nebbiolo, Nebbiolo. Uh, in Italy, they uh, call it, when it gets the DOC rating, it's called Barolo, where it has three years in barrel, one year in bottle. Uh, so it's a much uh, more complex wine, uh, but they're doing that for 350 euros a bottle. Had the pleasure of meeting Roberto Forenze uh, in La Mora. Uh, he's got beautiful artistic labels. Uh, when you walk into a bottle shop in Australia uh, and you go to the uh, Barolo section, you'll see these beautiful watercolour paintings, um, which is a bit similar to what I'm doing on mine. Firstly, I'll pour the wine. Fantastic colour. Um, Beautiful, deep, earthy nose. Tar and roses is how uh, the Italians describe Barolo. Uh, don't get afraid by the word tar. It's a beautiful, sweet uh, bitumen tar. Lovely, sweet characters on the nose. Really dark, deep rose character, like the uh, Mr. Lincoln roses or Cardinal roses I grow here at the winery. So, fantastic nose on it. Wow, big, big mouthful. Really good strawberry, sort of raspberry characters, red berry fruit. Um, layers and layers of flavour. A um, little sort of cigar box character. Um, good earthy uh, notes on the nose. Yeah, and really good palate. Good, good lick of acid there. So this one's going to sit down for a while again. Uh, with a good rich ragu uh, tonight. That'll work well. A uh, bit of olive oil there, uh, nice deep dark um, tomato flavours, uh, plenty of that sort of Italian uh, garlic. Um, let it soak away, plenty of wine in your uh, ragu and that'll, that'll balance beautifully. Now, the label I've chosen um, for the Nebbiolo and the Lagrine is telling the story of the holistic management I do here. We run sheep in the vineyard in winter uh, to cut the grass and cycle the minerals. We've got seven species of dung beetle bearing the manure and it's helping the biology in the soil. Uh, it's free fertilizer. We're growing meat, wool, uh, bones, manure, uh, all of these things in the animal and it's part of the soil food web and the mineral cycle which you can have a look on my website on the holistic management page. Um, you can do your own Googling. You can come for a walk and talk in the vineyard with me and uh, we'll get down and dirty, dig up the soil, smell it, feel it, look at the, um, all the different critters in the soil, look at the organic matter um, and really get into it. And, and that's what makes good wine. If you don't have good soil, you're not
you're not going to have good grapes. And if you don't have good grapes, you're not going to have good wine. So to me, it's really simple. I've been here 23 years. We've got minimal water. So I've had to focus on the soil to get my uh, water holding ability in the soil and keep everything balanced. Um, it saves you money not going and buying synthetic fertilizers. It looks after the environment and it makes me truly regenerative. And that is the key in agriculture today not just being sustainable, but being regenerative. Holistic farming, timed managed grazing, I mean the land to market uh, program uh, under the Savory Institute. We're doing everything right here and that's the important for my future, the children's future and your future. It's not just about good wine, it's how we can be here long term. So Nebbiolo, fantastic wine, We've got uh, little tasting packs available on the website. Uh, you can make up your own tasting pack, but we've selected some for you to make it nice and easy. Um, can Drink Now 2018, look, that's two years old. Uh, but I'd grab a couple of bottles, three, six, nine, twelve, try a couple when they arrive, uh, and then sit some down and look at them over the next couple of years and uh, enjoy the rewards of cellaring. Enjoy.